right guys, M Tech Guy here, and today it's that time of year again. We're going to take a look at what it's taken to keep my E60 M5 on the road for the last year. Now I've owned this car for just over four years now and what I've done at the end of each year of my ownership is I've just ran through what parts it's taken and what jobs I've had to do to the vehicle to keep the vehicle running in tip top shape, keep it on the road and a little bit of preventative maintenance. So end of the fourth year, let's get into it. Right, so just like the third year, I haven't done a great deal to it in the last 12 months. Most of the work, most of the preventative maintenance was done in that first and second year of the ownership, just giving myself a good baseline to work from and catching up on a lot of maintenance that might have been missed on the vehicle, like when you buy any second-hand vehicle. So anyhow, first up, I replaced one of the throttle body actuators. Now, these are a common failure on these cars. What can happen over the years is the plastic gears inside the throttle body actuators can start to wear, and they can give you error codes idle issues, reduce power mode. So if you do own one of these cars or you're looking to get into one, this is a job that's gonna come round eventually that you're gonna have to get sorted. Now, when I first bought this car, not long before I'd bought it, one of the previous owners has got one of the throttle body actuators replaced. Now, the other one that was existing was original on the vehicle. Now, it wasn't giving me any dramas. It wasn't giving me any grief, but because the other one was fairly new and the car was a few years old now, I decided to replace it so they're pretty much even. So it's something I don't have to worry about anytime in the near future. Now, I did pull it apart. You might have seen a video that I'd done previously just to inspect the internals of it. And although the gears weren't horrendously worn, they had started to wear at the edges. So it would have only been a little while until that one throttle body actuator would have started to give me some grief. And what I'll do is I'll link that throttle body internal inspection video at the top of the screen now, if you fancy checking it out. All right, next up, a cosmetic item. I went through and replaced pretty much all the badges. So I did the M badge on the back, the M5 badge. I did all four wheel center caps. I did the bonnet badge, and the one on the boot wasn't looking too bad, but the others, they'd all started to fade, especially that M badge on the back. It was making the car look a little bit ratty, because overall the vehicle's looking in pretty good shape, but them faded badges were letting it down. It wasn't a huge expense. It wasn't a massive job, but it certainly freshened things right up. And following on from the badges, I removed the siren module for the alarm system out the back of the car there. Now that has an internal battery that can be replaced on the earlier models E60 M5s. And that was throwing codes that it was low voltage, so we got that replaced. So that should last for another 17, 18 years, hopefully. And once we got the siren module battery sorted, I had a parking sensor on the rear bumper there to the far left hand side. Now these are an item that do seem to fail from time to time, the ceiling quality deteriorates on them and then all it takes is a good car wash or a water blast and you get a bit of water in there and they start giving you grief so it is worth changing them out. I'm sure there'll be a few more to come sometime in the future and then other than that, just general maintenance. I've given it two oil changes and it did come round for a new set of micro filters, pollen filters or cabin filters, whichever you want to call them also. And with the oil changes, I normally change it out every 5,000 kilometers or six months, whichever comes first. And to be fair, I haven't really driven the car as much as I'd have liked to in the last 12 months. So I'd only got two oil changes, but I'm gonna try and change that. So this year now, I'm trying to daily drive it a little bit more just to get a bit more use out of the vehicle. And to be honest with you, the more I drive it, the more I love the car. And even after four years of ownership, I probably like the car more now than I did when I first got it. So it's just something that keeps growing and growing on you. These cars get really under your skin. And I hope these 12 monthly ownership videos give you guys some information, help you guys out, whether you own one of these vehicles or you're thinking of getting into one. I hope it'll show you that it doesn't take a huge amount to keep them on the road, to keep them rolling. There is gonna be a bit of maintenance here and there. Of course, you wanna keep up with all that preventative maintenance but at least it shows the reality of what it's like to own one of these vehicles versus all the nonsense you might read on the internet about horrendously unreliable these cars apparently are. But bear in mind, this car's 18 years old now, and as long as you're prepared to look after them properly, they're bloody good cars. Anyhow, if you're new to the channel, make sure you go and check out the rest of my YouTube video for more BMW E60 M5 information and DIY videos. Consider subscribing if that's your cup of tea. I'm M Tech Guy. Thanks a lot for watching.